Hi everybody, it's Laura Claudi here with Purposeful Life Coaching and I'm back with more PLC squishes and cyber hugs to help you get your week started with the warm fuzzies. First of all, thank you everybody for all of your really great suggestions for my weekly blog post name. And a lot of you liked the cyber hug idea and I did too. So I integrated that in there. And thanks for all just your your posts and your comments. I'm so glad to hear that you really, really enjoyed watching and listening to the video blog as much as I enjoyed taping it and recording it. So really excited that, that you guys are as excited about it as I am. This week, I want to talk to you about what I call my memory photo album. And we all have them. We might not just be so conscious of them or aware of them. And your memory photo album are the pictures and the moments and the memories that you keep in your heart and in your mind of just your life. And it can consist of so many different things. It could be something as simple as laying there and you know watching TV relaxed and petting your cat or your dog and just the pet looking up at you and just having a really nice moment. It could be hanging out with your kids, you know, throwing snowballs or, or you know, bath time or you know, anything with kids. It can really create a great picture in your memory photo album. It could be times out with friends, quiet moments spent on your own any of those moments in life that when you think of them make you feel good. Maybe they make you laugh, maybe they make you just feel filled with love, maybe it makes you feel filled with accomplishment for yourself and, and all that you've, you've been through. And So these are those moments that help us to come back to a good feeling space. Now when you're in those moments of not feeling so good, so maybe you're overwhelmed, maybe you're unhappy or angry, just those moments that just don't feel so good, it sometimes can be difficult to remember the pictures in our memory photo album. So I want to offer you a couple of ways to make it a little bit easier to bring those memory photos back into your, your moment. So one of them is obviously writing them down. Now that may feel for some of you a little forced or maybe not very organic, but really if you've got a list, you'll have a list to go back to. And maybe you won't even actually use that list, but you would be surprised just by writing them down how that will help to bring them to the forefront of your mind when you need them. So of course, you now you can write it out, you can type it out, but get it down on paper. So just start naturally, and, and it might be the most recent memories that have been created, or the most me recent memory photos that you've been thinking of. So just write them down, or maybe you'll be making a list of the ones with your kids, or the ones with your friends, the ones with yourself. Go to it and have fun. And I'll give you a, a personal example of a picture from my memory photo album that just happened the other day. I was sitting quietly at home in the morning, had my slippers on and, and my comfy PJs on, and it was very quiet and it started to snow. And it was a beautiful, white, fluffy, calm and peaceful snow. Well, I felt inspired to take my slippers off and go outside barefoot in the snow. Didn't last very long because it was very cold, but in there I have this wonderful, memory picture for my photo album, my memory photo album of me standing outside barefoot, connected to the earth and it being peaceful and the sun was out. And anytime I feel overwhelmed or I feel a little unsettled, I have now that picture, that memory picture to draw upon to help me feel exactly how I felt in that memory. So, one possible tool for you is to go out and just start writing down the picture memories that you have. The other thing is to actually go through your photo albums because you might actually find pictures that create that, that memory for you, that memory feeling. And so to actually have a picture there is really powerful because not only will it help you to feel that way, you can start to envision it and remember it in your head. And Having these, like I said, is really great because when you're feeling not so great, to help you start to feel even a little bit better and eventually a little bit better and then a little bit better and a lot better, you got to start somewhere. And it makes it easier when you've got these memories that have already happened and you know how good they feel, it's great when you have those to bring to your moment now. I would like, when I'm doing my video blog posts, to offer you a playful 
task each week. So this week, your playful task, if you choose to accept it, is to go out and be conscious of the memory pictures that you are creating this week to put into your memory photo album. I would love to hear about it. So anytime throughout the week, leave me a comment. You can leave it right here on my blog or you can email it to me, Laura, L-O-R-A, at a little plc.com. So I would love to hear from you and hear about what kind of memories you're creating and adding to your memory photo album. Or if you'd like, send me ones that you already have. And, and I would love to hear those too because they're ones that will help you to feel good and might even help you to start creating more this week. Thanks again for tuning in. I hope that you have a week filled with laughter, love, life, and purpose. I'll see you next week. Remember, everyone can use a little PLC. Have a good one.